Look what I've just been given. It says, this advent calendar is for Pandy. Pandy basically comes from the word Xander, and Xander is at the end of Alexander, and my name's Alex. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. No. No, no, I'm not doing it yet. Huge thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring another video. I really, really appreciate it, guys. Thanks for sharing the love, and thank you guys for watching. It's been complete all go on the channel recently. If you guys didn't catch my last video, basically... I had Ali do this absolutely insane design on my PlayStation 5. This thing just... I mean, to be quite honest, I just kind of can't get over it. It looks insane. So it's been all go recently, non-stop. Atlas, uh, Atlas isn't well. As you can see, he's currently wearing a cone and feeling sorry for himself. But right now today, it's currently the 30th of November at 10.32 in the morning and I plan to have this video up by hopefully 7pm tonight. But today I really need to try and stay at home because as you guys can see, Atlas isn't well so I, I need to look after him. And my plan today, and you guys can thank my Discord server for this, if you're not part of my Discord server, we've got like 3,000 members or something ridiculous like that, you can join with the link below. Everybody said, Alex, you need to start streaming again, live streaming on Twitch, and to be honest, mainly because obviously a lot of you guys know that I helped Tom Syndicate out with his internet and stuff like that, and he's a, a big streamer so I'm always watching his streams to make sure everything's going okay for him. And I've I don't know, I've just recently been really getting into it. And like I said, everybody on my Discord server has been begging me to come back streaming, so right now I'm thinking, why not? We've got a video to do today, so today we're going to turn this into a streaming setup. Okay, basically because I'm trying to do this video in, in one day, we can't mess around. Okay, so I've arrived at the office. We can't spend too long here because Atlas is ill. Now basically, before we get started doing all the streaming stuff, I bought this little Mac Mini to the office because, well, I'm actually planning on making a whole new editing setup at the office based around this. Hang on. Coupled with this. Oh, that's always nice to get to the office too, isn't it? Well, that is so cute. Literally a handwritten note from Ali who painted the PlayStation in the last video. Honestly, if you didn't see that video, go check it out. Ah, that's so cool. Couple it with this Pro Art Series monitor that Asus have sent out. I just want to scrap all of this now and scrap this PC and get rid of all of these cables. But for now, what do we need to stream at home from the office? Well, I need a streaming PC. I need an audio interface, I need a boom arm for a microphone, I need a microphone, and I need one of these things to hold my camera on the side of the desk. I do have over here in this corner of the studio a 1080 build, which would be absolutely fine for streaming. However, I'm kind of the minimal guy, and I think I've got a better idea. So the storage room has been recently cleaned out, but this is exactly what I'm looking for. God, there's some cool stuff up here, isn't there? I think in here is even cooler. Like, I think there's just... I've got motherboards, I've got mouse mats, I've got keyboards, I've got mice. If you guys are ever after anything, please let me know on Twitter or in the Discord or in the comments. Just let me know, because I've got loads of stuff and it's just sat here collecting dust. so dodgy. Okay, here is a mixing deck. Over here near the new desk should be my streaming microphone. Sick. Okay, streaming deck, streaming PC, microphone, and camera arm. The one thing I can't find is my boom pole for the microphone, so I'm just gonna assume that it's at home. Okay, so I've managed to bring everything back home in this backpack. Here is the computer. Hey Atlas, you all good bro? I mean you seem fine. Your skin is so soft. I mean your fur is so soft. So basically my main problem is this custom computer. The problem being that it just clearly isn't powerful enough for me to both stream and play games on at the same time. It can do either one of those things by itself absolutely fine, but when you try and combine the two, nada, dropped frames, doesn't work. So this is why I need this. This is my new streaming PC. Now, when I did a few live streams in the past, I used this PC and everything was fine, except from the audio, which is where, hang on, this thing comes in. Hopefully I can take all my audio sources and mix them into this and then send one signal clean out from this into the stream PC. However, the weather the rest of this week is awful, wind and rain, and you can't fly drones when it's 
windy and raining, so it's time right now for some socially distant drone flight. <laughs> Okay, so I've met Elliot out here uh, at the Bando, where we used to come and fly. It's been uh, about four months, has it, since you've been away? Yeah, something like that. Something like that. We've got a little bit of wind today, so hopefully, and I haven't flown literally since Elliot was last here, so I'm hoping that we can, well, get our, get our grips again, get our bearings again. And it's freezing, the weather's completely different. Not a huge fan of flying with the GoPro on for two reasons. Number one, if I crash this thing, the GoPro is probably going to crash too. And number two, with the GoPro on, this thing is so much more heavy, which means it's just harder to fly. I don't think it's very happy. Okay, Elliot is up and away. We're off. I think obviously you guys in this video or when you watch the drone stuff, the FPV stuff, you're obviously not looking live through the goggles. That is the whole experience of this, flying live through the FPV camera here. It just makes such an insane experience. I can't even put it into words. <laughs> Woo! Nice, cut. Yep, <laughs> good one. Okay, so that is it, we're all out of battery. I unfortunately crashed my drone on its final landing. However, it's okay, it only chopped the top off a plant. <laughs> Honestly, it's such a cool place in here. But for now, I've got a streaming rig to build. an ethernet switch behind this computer so all I've got to do is plug the new streaming PC into there and then what I've got to do is take an HDMI from the new streaming PC into the capture card that's in my computer and then we go out from the capture card up to one of the monitors. I do have high hopes for this I think it's gonna work however the one problem is that I couldn't find the boom pole at the office I've had a look around the house Still can't find my boom pole. The boom pole is basically the arm that holds the microphone, so I've not got anything to hold my mic. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Sick! It works! Now that is cool. Now how am I gonna control the second PC? Well, I'm just gonna use a wireless light speed mouse. This should be absolutely fine for me to game on, really. Super confusing, because I've got two mice, but it is what it is. And then for the keyboard, well, this has got Bluetooth built into it, so I should just be able to Bluetooth to the new computer. <laughs> Ah, what a stupid idea, touching hot plastic. So basically, this is looking absolutely incredible so far. My next mission is to try and implement this tiny little thing. So basically, I've installed this camera here on this boom arm which we picked up from the office. This is the A7R. This is going to be essentially my glorified uh, webcam. I've applied braiding to all the cables that come up onto the desk to make this super, super clean. And I'm actually going to resort to using this little USB microphone from Elgato for now. To be honest, I'm super happy with this because it's cleaner than having the big XLR microphone and the big... Well, it just means I'd have to have this huge mixing desk on the desk and I don't want this. So having all the cables for the microphone and the stream deck in the braiding and the one for my wireless charger and mouse mat, yeah, it looks clean. So I've drilled up some little cable management points under the desk which has allowed me to run this HDMI cable which I can now adapt to micro HDMI so hopefully I can get a feed out of this little camera. Which now means the other end of this HDMI cable can plug into our cam link and now this is USB into the computer. So with that being said, I should be able to boot up this camera. <gasps> no way! It's come on! That's sick! It works! <laughs> So you can see me there, if we go on the old stream deck, we should be able to get a key light, toggle, <gasps> it works! And then, 
That's with it on. You can see how much of a difference lighting makes. It is honestly, you can have a great camera, but if you don't match it with good lighting, there literally isn't any point. But so far, so good. I've switched over to the stream camera now. This is what the stream will see or what whoever watches my stream is going to see. The quality should be really good. Yeah, absolutely over the moon with this. It's only taken us about five hours to do this today and I need to get to editing this video if I want to get it out today, which I do. Let me know if you want more stuff like this and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Actually, wait, hang on guys. Squarespace have sponsored this video, so I just need to say Thanks, Squarespace, for sponsoring the video. I really appreciate it. That good? More. If you would like to get 10% off your first Squarespace purchase or domain, please use code MarsBar or go to squarespace.com forward slash MarsBarVlogs. Good? 60 seconds. Oh, okay, I can do this. Guys, if you want to check out a Squarespace website, please check out some of my websites. All of them, in fact, were built on Squarespace years before they sponsored me because, well, I just think it's a great service, really. Basically, whoever you are, whether you're a complete website novice or you know what you're doing, Squarespace is for you. If you're a novice, you can choose from one of the thousands of templates, upload your stuff to it, off you go. If you're a bit more of a tech whiz, you can mess around with all their cool HTML. They've got really cool animations on there to make your website website pop and stand out. You can do things like check out the SEO, which if you didn't know, basically shows you what your website looks like on a search engine. Check them out. Please use my link. I would appreciate it. But with all that being said, hopefully soon I'll see you on stream. Last question though, when do I stream? Let me know in the comments. All right, peace.